<laughs> Dude, that game looked awesome. Oh my gosh. I hey, everybody, and finally the day has arrived. It is the... Hey, everyone, the day has arrived. It is the fifth anniversary since we lost a great, talented man, Terry A. Davis. And even though he's gone and he's passed to heaven, um, there's... He continues to inspire so many people, and I wanted to show off a few games and engines that people have made this year in honor of Terry, in honor of this fifth anniversary, and I'm going to get started by just showing off some engine that I've been working on this past month while I've been learning Polish and trying to translate some of Terry's work. I've been working on an orthographic engine and as well as uh, my friend Enroot, who has been working on his very own Raycasted game. And finally, we're going to end it off with Cyber Chud, which I'm going to do my best to show. I don't have the best hardware to show it off right now, but it is incredibly... Uh, it's made by the incredibly talented um, Crunk Lord 420, and... He's been working on it for quite a while in honor of this anniversary. And so I'm going to do my best to show off with the hardware that I have. Um, it's going to be a little bit laggy, his game, but it's going to be the grand finale because there's just so much great work that went into it. So before we get into it, let me please show you my orthographic perspective engine. So for the first demo I'm going to show off, it's actually the least impressive, and it's my own code. It's something that I've been working on using the tensor code that I showed you guys last time. I've been trying to use this tensor code to implement not just a neural network, but also orthographic projections. And what orthographic projections are is I have a little drawing. So if we look at this cube here, we can see this cube is actually composed of six different sides, right? So we have the front side, the back side, the left, the right, the top, and the bottom. And each of these points of the cube we can represent in a vector space as a vector point. So this is a vector, this is a vector, this is a vector. And what we can actually do is we can use our vectors to represent each one of those points and then use the tensor to represent each one of the sides. So here you can see a representation of we have the, the block in the first position, the block in the second position, third position, fourth position, and in the third dimension we have each one of those sides. So the six sides can be represented as our tensor. So we can take our tensor and actually construct cubes to make a uh, kind of dungeon crawler and that's what I've just been trying to work on is some kind of dungeon crawler game here's the code that you can see here the wall class represents what we were drawing on the screen so for each face of the wall we have a sprite and the sprite has a different color or a different texture and four lines for each square and the quad represents each vector position of those points. So not only are we drawing the lines, but they're drawn in the screen space so that we have a vector position for the top right, for the top left, the bottom left, and the bottom right. And that comprises a wall face. So I can use my Tensor 3D class to represent these cubes. Uh, I have a camera class to represent the position of the camera, the keys to keep track of the user input. We can assign textures to these ten tensors by using values, uh, just, just in integer values. I have my um, draw class. What this does is it actually, this creates cell function creates a, uh, a, it modifies the matrix so that it will draw the vectors in the correct position 
based on the camera position and this gets this function get quad faces gets each face of the cube and stores it in each individual quad so we have the floor quad the north quad the south quad the east quad west quad and the top quad and I've assigned them different colors you can see the comments here so that we can see it easily in this demo lastly we have our draw function which just considers the input and redraws the dungeon based off of our keyboard input in our main function so if I run this you can see this is a 10 by 10 level and I can pan around with the mouse I can press the left key to kind of change my perspective in the Z dimension up and down and I can press down or up to switch it in the Y perspective so I think my triangles are a little messed up here as you can tell perhaps it'll be a little easier if I just set it to the level to one cube unfortunately this is all I have for Terry's anniversary this is probably the lamest of the demos but yeah you can see here this is a cube and the floor is actually facing the other way that's why it kinda looks that way is because I want the floor to face up while I have the walls face all the other directions so that we can kinda build a dungeon I'll probably have an update for this but it is still pretty cool that you can just pan around you can rotate this cube and look at it from different angles I think it's pretty cool so that's just the first demo but let's look at some truly talented programmers we're gonna go to Enroot's game next I'm recording now so I'm here with Enroot and we yep. are gonna demo his brand new frog game so Enroot do you want to say anything about this awesome game uh, yeah I, I was working on it I want to make it a game with a message but like like the the message I'm trying to convey is like 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 if I have like a very beautiful piece of art but it's covered in poop or around surrounded by poop, all people are going to scare the poop. So I want the game to be look stupid but actually have a message. And I there's going to be like an open world you can explore in free. Really cool. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm gonna run uh, I'm gonna run it right now. So. Oh, I'm a frog. Tell me your name. What, what do you mean? Oh. What do you mean? What do I do? The semen. What do you mean? I live in a pond. What is going on? There's bees? I'm gonna have a... Yeah, don't get the bees. They'll get oh. angry and sting you. Oh, I'm the green one. Yeah. Oh, this one's great, dude. There's no lag at all. Cool. I was in a yeah, I, I I was working on a UI thing. It's a, it, there's a in the UI um thing is a demo of the UI, but I I didn't include that in this demo. Wait, yeah, I, I have it on my computer though. Uh oh. Yeah, you just press escape the and leave the game. Okay, let me try it again. So I thought there was like a yeah. ray casting uh, aspect. That's not done yet. Yeah, that's in, that's in, that, that's in three D. But like I have, I, I I'm just working on parts of the game first. I see. Okay. So there's no really there's no message yet. Not yet. No. Okay. Okay. I see. Okay. So let me try it again. And I have to. So I have to eat the semen and the and the flies or just the flies. Yeah. Well, the the, the semen max gives you a girlfriend power up. <laughs> Oh, is that what the They'll help frog you. is? Yeah. Okay, okay. Or the pink one, yeah. Oh, I see, I see. Okay, I get it now. Oh, don't get the bees. Don't get that. Oh, and yeah. oh, I died, I think. Oh, no. I just knocked me out. Oh, oh that's yeah. my girlfriend. Is that what it is? But she died. Oh, it's really fast. Too. 
Oh, this is probably a little laggy. I'm not getting any lag. Yeah. That's really cool, dude. So, uh, you want to say anything else before we wrap this up? Oh, wait. Did you check out the 3D part? Okay, so I'm in Ionios, and it's a compiler I wrote. It's, it runs on ARM 2. But, um, I think I had one called... I hope I had the right file in here somewhere. Um... I'm going to call it an engine demo 3D. So, include, so you can walk around. So this, it's a ray casting engine. You can have things in it, like these dudes. And um, so I also wrote a level editor. It's pretty bare bones, but it works for me at least. So i got to wait for it. The world, and okay, I'm gonna get rid of complete. So, like, um, these textures are animated. Like, if I right click it, I can um pick a frame, or I pick thickness. I want frame. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I'm using the thing on my laptop, and it's horrible. So, I'm gonna edit a new frame, and it will show you the the frames on the thing. So, uh, I can uh. Uh, color, um, I think I accidentally broke the animations for the thing, but, like, right here, you can see it's animated, and I'll have to look in 3D to see why it's not animating, but, um, and then, but how I do it is, um, I, like, in Anim DC, I have, like, an array of DCs, but, like, they're located, like, like an array, but you can still use the pointer like a DC, so you can like you could just blot it like a DC. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So I guess that's all I have to show. And I also wrote a skeletal thing. Like the like it it's pointing, and then you can also rotate it and it will know where to point. That's cool. Oh, not like this uh, on the mouse? No, it just points to the corner, but I could do it the mouse. Um, can we see, can real quick, show I the uh, raycasting again? Yeah. So. Oh, there it is. There's the animation. I fire. Like, like, like it's the walls are animated. I just made one blue for some reason. <laughs> oh yeah, I can see how they change. Wait. It's a little laggy in the recording, but um, I could see. Okay. They're changing, they're changing colors and stuff. So you even have animated walls. Yeah. So you want to include this with the frog, the 2D frog game? Yeah, like, like I want to make it so, like, you can walk around the world. Like, if you find the pond, you can catch flies in, like, the 2D, like, mini games and stuff. Okay, cool. So it's going to have, like, a, like a multi... It's going to have mini game aspects where you walk around the world, like, a level select, maybe, and then you go to different levels based in the pond? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, thanks for showing it off. It's it's really cool, and I can't wait until it's done. Okay, cool. Yep. Thank you. And finally, we have Cyber Chud. So I'm going to do my best here to show it off. Like I said, my hardware is not the best. Well, oops. Let's try it again. Here we go. So you can see it's a little bit laggy. This is not the game, I promise you. I'm running this on a very old laptop. I'm going to disable some of these options here. If you want to play it for yourself and get the full experience, make sure to run it in multi-core, at least four cores, four gigabytes memory. I unfortunately only have two gigabytes memory on this laptop, but I'm going to do my best to show it off here. You can see here it is a fully 3D rendered world and he's got textures look at this he's even got video textures just some great work and again you know you have to excuse the frame rate it's uh, it's not like this oh who's this actor <laughs> this, 
I forget his name. Then we got a little bed here with a lamp. Okay. So let's see. Oh, long hallway. This is my first reaction to playing the game, guys. I was just testing it out a little earlier to try and get the best frame rate. What does this say? At command line. Yeah, my frame rate is really bad, but if you install it yourself, you're probably going to get a way better frame rate than mine. Who's this? We got a chud over here. Look at you, you don't even have a gun. I don't. Walking simulator? No. Or it's an engine tech demo. Yeah, anyway, here's your obligatory gun. Now make sh make it everyone else's problem. True. Crook Lord did say this is just a tech demo. Here we go, here's the gun. I'll pick it up. Here we go. Yes, shotgun. All right. I'm going to start by making it his problem. Oh, <laughs> oh. Yeah, it's quite it's quite laggy. But like I said, run it with 4 gigs memory and it should be pretty good. It is actually, you know, all things considered, running quite well on my dinky little laptop here. I'm I'm using a uh ThinkPad T410. Normally, I make these videos on Windows 11. Very good. Uh, oh. this, this guy's firing projectiles. The meme, the meme lord. Wow, look at those animations. Great. Even death animations. Oh, what's this? Different gun. Oh my gosh, my frame rate is dying right now. Oh, maybe I'm supposed to talk to this guy. <laughs> okay, this button is dedicated to the concept of gameplay. Press it with the F to spawn a troon who can live red free in your virtual world. Uh, hmm. Do I want to do that? I guess I could just uh, practice killing, uh, killing troons. I hope uh, YouTube doesn't ban me for saying that. What's this guy? Western Civilization just right after the pool party. Alright, let's press F. Uh, maybe it's just in this room. You know, despite only having 16 colors, he's doing a great job utilizing them. And my laggy computer. Here we go. On to Troon. There we go. My PC is chugging right now. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. This train's gonna kill me. 10 HP. I love safety. <laughs> nice. These models are great. I believe he used Blender and imported them into Temple OS. Where's the game? Look, kid, there is no game. Ah. And my doctor gave me these pills. Yeah, I can relate. I'll have to just get the game next year. It'll be great. Trust me. 
Well, I think that's the end. Wait, there's another room here. Oh, look. I can't sneed. We need a bad enough dude to help me sneed again. A bad enough dude to help me sneed again. Fair enough. Cool little doggy, though. Can I tell the dog? <laughs> it's chugging. It's chugging. But look, we've got these guys working hard. These little chuds. <laughs> Whenever I shoot anyone, <laughs> just starts chugging. This is this is all running in Temple OS, and it's all let's show our appreciation. Let's let's show our appreciation. I think Terry would be proud. You know, great work, Crunk Lord, really. You know, I, I'm, I'm not doing the best justice, unfortunately, because of the hardware. But I can tell, you know, this is this is, has a lot of, uh, I mean, from the shadows, from the textures, you just have to, you just have to look at it and all. And I encourage you all to install it and uh, play it yourself. I mean, because I'm sure most of you are running higher-end PCs than me. Um, we'll end off with the CEO of Racism. Godspeed, everyone. Continue to work in the temple. Continue to make these awesome engines. Check them out. Make your own levels. Join the Discord server. Check out the website. Give Crunklord. Give Enroot. Tell them how much you appreciate their hard work because this is a great operating system. And... Only within a few months, we've been we've managed to get some awesome 3D engines going, and I can only imagine what it will be like in another few months or even the next five years. We're going to have some remarkably efficient games, programs, and ways to worship and praise God. So praise God. Amen.